When I came on board with Sensi, I had a lot of ideas about where I thought we could go. And I'm learning so much from Heidi and Orville and the consultants. They're on the front lines and they know what people are looking for and what is successful for their business. We really do listen. We want to know what's working. It's all about their business. One of the challenges we have is to create warmers that don't necessarily look like warmers. We're playing with that trend with our little garden warmer. It's an element warmer where you can actually customize it. You can use some of the play pieces from our make -a scene or be creative. One of my favorite things to put in there is the Zen Garden from the make -a scene collection. So Black Crush is made with a giant piece of glass and then it's shattered. They apply glue to it and then they roll the cylinder on. And so you get a very interesting crackle light effect where the grout and the glass meet. Well, when we create something that we get super excited about or we feel super passionate about, we hope that we are able to pass along through the fragrance itself the excitement that we feel. This season, one of my personal favorites is Homestead Holiday. It's heavy on the cinnamon and clove, but with just a hint of ginger and blood orange. It's warm, it's inviting, it's really nice. One of our most intriguing fragrances this season is Vanilla Oud. Oud is an ingredient that's been gaining a lot of popularity in the fragrance world. It's a dark resin from the agar tree, and it is dark, it's mysterious, it's sophisticated, but it still has that warmth of vanilla. In Spiced Fruit Cider, the name says it all. It has the right balance of spicy fruit with a big hit of cider. Gingerbread Donut is one of those fragrances that puts a new twist on a classic note. You'll instantly recognize the gingerbread, but we've paired it with something unexpected, a yummy cake donut. It's good enough to eat. When I think of the holidays, two fragrances come to mind immediately, apple and cinnamon sticks. When warming this fragrance, you'll wanna grab a good book, grab a fuzzy blanket, and curl up in your favorite chair. We decided to make a change from Sensi Man and Romance, and the name is Darling and Dashing. We just want to deliver great fragrance experiences, and to do that, it made much more sense to sort of reimagine that male-female experience or fragrance. We have a really great mix of perhaps musky, more rich and cologne-like fragrances, but a lot of women love those. We have some more floral herbaceous that could be considered feminine, but not really. And a lot of men love those. So this gives everybody an opportunity to experience what they enjoy and what they love. I think for those customers that really appreciate a handmade piece, this is a perfect example for them of a, of a great Scentsy piece. So Avid's got a really interesting process. Two people put it together by hand, and as they wind it, they weld it. Every time you can see that bronze-colored spot is a weld point. So if you look at it, there's an amazing amount of weld points on it. With the Empower, we used a new finish on the outside, and it's a new technique we haven't used before, but it creates that beautiful iridescent kind of shimmery effect on the glass. You know, since we launched the Scentsy diffusers and the Scentsy oils, our main focus has always been an amazing fragrance experience. It's always what sets us apart from other oil companies and other fragrance companies. This season, when we were looking at our whole offering for our naturals, we really wanted to push the boundaries. We're really excited because this is going to be the first time that we're going to offer ozonic fragrances in our all naturals. When you hear ozonic, it's aquatic. Um, think of like the ocean or sea breeze, uh, things like that. One of the new 100% natural oils that we're going to have this season is marine cypress lavender. You're going to love it. It has a little bit of floral sea, but the standout are the aquatic notes. If you like Zen Garden in our wax bars, you're absolutely going to love this fragrance. 
Some of our most innovative fragrances are actually in our kids line, or 100% naturals. One of them is Baby Bliss. It's mirrored after one of our most iconic fragrances, Newborn Nursery. It's super delicate and it's perfect for a nursery, but it would go in any room. If you love Corner Cafe, you're absolutely gonna love Hopscotch Butterscotch. It's another one of the kids' 100% natural oils. If you know and love those butterscotch candies, you're absolutely gonna love this fragrance. One of our most requested ingredients is patchouli. So what we decided to do is bring 100% natural oil, patchouli rose, to the line. And it's a perfect balance. That rose really rounds out that patchouli, so we didn't go too far patchouli, but we didn't go too far to mask it either. Uh, so if you don't think you like patchouli, you're gonna be pleasant surprised. Another popular request from the field was sandalwood. So sandalwood lemon basil is another one that we actually took creative liberty with. We wanted to introduce something that was more masculine without going to cologne. So think My Dear Watson with a little citrus twist. So looking at our essential oil blends, we felt like a great addition would be something really cool and refreshing. So we wanted to bring that in with some winter green, which is the inspiration behind Liv. So we are bringing back Lenny the Lamb. We thought Lenny would make a great mascot for the Sensi Kids category and would be a face that could engage kids and to make them Sensi fans at a young age. This year we have new sidekicks. We went with Mika the Monkey and Luca the Lion. The monkey has a flower in her hair and the lion has a cute little mane that sticks out. For those toddlers or babies that are just learning to grasp, we have the plastic rings and the crinkly legs and of course the socks that move up and down, but this time we've switched to our Jammy Time fragrance instead of Newborn Nursery. The inspiration behind the Sensi Go started with the recognition of a need from our consumer base. They said, we want something portable. Fragrance is now becoming a part of every aspect of our lives. Fragrance is something you take with you. Fragrance is a personal statement where it helps define who you are. It's what you're putting in your Sensi Go and then taking it with you to experience it. So Sensi Go has two main functions, which are uh, operated through two buttons on, on the Sensi Go. One button is a fan button, the other is a light button. With the fan button, there are two modes. One is normal mode and one is eco mode. The eco mode actually increases the battery life by over 20%. The other button is the light mode. This adds that extra visual kiss that we like in all of our Sensi products. The Sensi Go charges through a USB port. Depending how you use your Sensi Go, you can get battery life anywhere from 13 to 30 plus hours. Sensi Go has a new system of fragrance contained within a Sensi Pod. You can actually fit two Sensi Pods in the Sensi Go. The fan pushes the air over those fragrance beads and out through the top of the Sensi Go, and that's how you enjoy your fragrance. The Sensi Go is designed to fit in your life wherever you are. If you're running down the street, it fits in your purse. If you're at the office, it fits conveniently next to your computer. You know, we're market leaders. We pay attention to trends, uh, and when it makes sense, we're gonna fold in a trend, or we're gonna surprise people with a trend, because we see it coming. One of the things I love about designing and developing warmers is the ability to push the boundaries and push materials and techniques. And I think you'll see in the last few years, we've really pushed the boundaries of what a warmer is. The exciting thing is there's still so much we can do with glass and metal and still using ceramics. I think we've just only touched on, on what the potential of, of Sensi warmers can be. What I really do enjoy about creating new fragrances is whether it does evoke an old memory or it's going to be part of new memories that someone creates. That's what's exciting about fragrance to me. And I would say stay tuned because our antenna is up about where fragrance is going, whether we're leading out on that, whether we're interpreting that for our brand and for our consultants and our market. We have our finger on that pulse.